for me as an OFW, it is good for you that you you must read the Bible. Good day everyone! I am Catherine Temblor Melinao and I am married. I have one kid and I'm so happy and thankful na inimbitahan ako ng Pastor Tony and Pastor Eliza to have my testimony in their program Good News with Pastor Tony and Pastor Eliza. For me as an OFW, uh, it's good to my mental health to hear the godly words na sinishare niyo po sa programa niyo po to divert my attention uh, lalo na ngayon sa naranasan natin na pandemic so hindi ko talaga may iwasan na minsan nawa-worry ako sa mga pamilya ko dyan sa Pilipinas and my family also worry me here but one thing na I'm so thankful to God na ever since na malayo po ako he always here for me to comfort me, to guide me, and also uh, my family in the Philippines, he always uh, guide them there. For me as an OFW, it is good for you that you, you must read the Bible if you feel uh, bothered, you feel lonely, you feel worried. It helps you a lot to divert your attention and to avoid anxiety po. One of my verse that I like most is John 3.16 For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son that whoever believes in Him shall not first but have eternal life. So we must love one another. We just spread love and kindness. That's one of my, my motto in life, to love one another. Uh, even what this situation is. For me, as an RFW, I will uh, encourage you don't stop praying and keep uh, the faith in God always because we are far away from our family and it's so very, very hard to make comfortable, be thankful sa lahat ng mga blessings na binibigay sa atin, maliit man o malaki. I invite you all to Always uh, watch the program of Pastor Tony and Pastor Elisa and let's support always their program. And by the way, uh, Pastor Tony and Pastor Elisa, thank you for your prayers to my family and for me here. Nakikita ko po every Sunday and I, that you include me to your prayers. Thank you, thank you so much po. Uh, I hope to see you soon guys and God bless everyone. Bye bye.